stupid army, making all these uniform changes, won't let us grow beards anymore. My kids just let me grow a beard. My drill sergeant sense is tingling, but that can only mean one thing. The chief master sergeant of the Air Force is fucking up her Facebook account. Oh no. I don't want to go against two of the highest ranking enlistment in two different military branches. Yeah! 2021 and we still can't have beards? Come on, Sergeant Major. The Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Joanne Bass? 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 Well, that's how it fucking started. Decided that she's going to start doing some internet shenanigans on Facebook where all the boomers go to vet about weird politics and everybody's Castro recipes. She's going in there and jacking everything up for the Air Force. Now, this story begins amongst a little bit of an uproar that she stirred when a staff sergeant in the Air Force didn't know how to pronounce her name and said, bass or bass, or bass or bass, bass or bass. He is spelled the same way, but you get the drift. And she decided <laughs> to go after him a little bit in the comments, telling this airman, oh, he knows. Oh, he knows if she's the highest enlistment in the flipping Air Force, he knows how to say her name. And she will make sure she contacts his chain of command to make sure he does. <laughs> now, is it a Karen move or an OG enlistment move to be like, hey, motherfucker, you know goddamn right what my name is. You better say it correct before I snap your flipping neck. Can't hate on that too much. But of course it set the internet into a stir of whether or not she acted correctly. But that's not why we're here today. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're here because an older post has reemerged and caused a little bit of controversy. Controversy, if you will. Now keep your eyes and ears on me, guy, because I'm going to speed through this. You need to pay attention. Chief Bass cuts and pastes an entire article written by a chaplain's assistant. I don't know what the hell your Air Force jobs are called. A chaplain's assistant is what I'm calling you. Talking about the different hats that she wears while being a mother, wife, etc. One hat being the mother to a premature child. She had recently gave birth to a daughter that was born 29 weeks and had spent three months in the NICU where she sat parenting over this child where she felt that she was alone in this struggle. After this long time in the hospital properly caring for her child, she returns home where her husband, who is a pararescue man, leaves her and the child alone. She is now a single mom in the sense that Daddy's gone training all the time, intentionally doing it so as to avoid his responsibilities as a father. With him being preoccupied by his job, she's left alone to drive at least three times a week, two hours away from medical appointments for their daughter that is still having issues. To power through these obstacles as a mother left alone by her husband, training and doing as he pleases. Gosh dang heroic, let's read on. But it doesn't end there. She puts on her working mom hat and takes on a leadership school while rearing this child, it would seem, all on her own. To quote her, she did everything alone since her husband's job was deemed more important than hers. Oh, she's so strong, a beaming lighthouse upon a rock, guiding me away from being dashed upon the stones beneath the waves. Her hard work paid off. She was given honors as she graduated from this leadership course. But alas, upon graduating, her pararescue husband up and left her and the kid with nothing. Bastard. Abandoning his daughter, his wife, his marriage, the family, and leaving her to cope all on her own. Get this bitch a legion of merit. What an absolute unit of a woman. Let's read on. Amongst all this turmoil in her family, she's forced to move to another base to get better medical attention for her daughter. Huh. And to top that, when she finally gets to that new air base, the child comes down with COVID. She's in quarantine. Luck was not on her side as she had to bring her young daughter to the hospital because of some respiratory issues. But fear not. Now they are both healthy. And when she picks up her beautiful baby girl from daycare, she plows through the children, jumping into mother's arms because she is the wearer of many hats. Airman, mother, leader, ATM machine, caretaker. And those hats are drenched in blood and sweat. And it's because of those sacrifices and dedication to her duty as a wife 
as a mother, as an airman, as an all-around good person, the chief master sergeant of the Air Force reposted that story with this to say. That the article was well written and inspiring. Put on your inspirational hat, girl, because you inspired the chief of the Air Force. And by golly, I would also be so inspired if it wasn't all just a crock of shit. But how, Drill Sergeant? How? How do you know the story is full of shit? Allow me to tell you, young Drill Sergeant. It didn't take long for those that knew this female airman and her husband to put two and two together when they saw the chief's motivational Facebook post that the inspirational story had a couple flaws in it, mainly the female airman. Now, children, we should all take a moment and remember that once something goes on the internet, it is on the internet forever, even after you delete it. And those comments resurfaced. Well, the whole fucking post did, because she took that down too. Ain't that a red flag? One of those commenting on the article that the chief master sergeant of the Air Force put up happened to know the couple and said, there's a little more to the story. Had your social media team decide to put two and two together and maybe call up some of the people in this airman's chain of command. Going on to say that many airmen witnessed the destruction of fellow male airmen that this female caused across the base. Oh, we gotta read between the military lines on that one. Sounds like uh, code for Jody's making some visits. And then referencing the command of this soldier so that a hey, sheep can call them up and get that shit ironed out. But the piece de resistance is that the evil hubby pararescuement's fucking first line leader jumped in on that conversation and added this. Chief Bass, I don't think you had the pleasure of meeting Aaron Samuels. In fact, her article couldn't be further from the truth. Her absent husband did everything to care for their daughter with all his heart, soul, and mind, especially during their hospital stay after their premature birth. He actually fought for their marriage, but was served with divorce papers while TDY. And if you don't know what that means, that means while this guy was out training, Mama Bird said, fuck you, and sent divorce papers his way. Oh, that's nice. Haven't been there before. Haven't seen dozens of hundreds of billions of soldiers get Dear John letters while they're deployed saying, hey, guess what, babe? While you're gone, I took all your shit and left. Peace. His team sergeant adds that while he was away, she was getting a little busy with Jody, and that even though she messed up and didn't want to continue the relationship, she was demanding ridiculous things from him just so he could maintain his parental rights over the child, which he bowed down to. He keeps going by breaking down the poor character of this female airman and how it's wrong for her to demonize this fantastic pararescuement of which he was in charge of. And just like the previous comment, he says you need to follow up with the gosh dang base chaplain to figure out what the hell actually happened because you are so way off track. Now after the comment section exploded on this post, Chief decided to respond back before deleting everything. While we may not be aware of every side of every story, sharing them can create solutions and inspire others on their own resilience journey. Oh, like the resilient journey that PJ's got to fucking go on now because the command master sergeant of the flippin' Air Force just skull dragged his reputation through the mud by reposting an article that she never fucking verified? Where is your social media team on this? I would ask that we continue to respect each other and focus on how this will create a positive outcome for others. What? For, for others, maybe, but not for that fucking PJ you just threw under the butts and just publicly assassinated his character. Who the f Who even does that? Did you read the article before you posted it? She's saying that daddy's a deadbeat dad in the Air Force. You have an airman shitting all over another airman, and you thought that would be motivational for people? <laughs> What? It's like this female airman decided to check off every negative stereotype that a woman in the military could have. Even though you're trying to fix it, I'm gonna use the kids as poker chips to make sure that you feel horrible about yourself. By the way, I'm gonna serve you your divorce papers when you're not ready for them, like thousands of miles away on the opposite side of the country, your globe. Oh, I'm gonna blast you on the internet so that when you get home, everybody's gonna think you're a misogynistic, horrible piece of shit father, and then everybody's gonna love me and take my side. Enjoy the PTSD. Oh, and before I get all these bleeding hearts of 
Oh, you're going after because he's a female. What about the males in the bed? Well, you know what? There's shitty males out there too, but today ain't their day. Today is dumb female Air Force's day. Tomorrow can be dumb male Lance Corporal's day when he decides to impregnate two different girlfriends on the same military post and have a fucking boxing match between the two of them and get taken away at the MPs. Today's not his day. It's her day. We'll get there. I'm sure. But I digress. Today's story isn't about philanthropy amongst your fellow airmen. If you catch my drift, it is about the chief master sergeant social media somehow thinking it's okay to promote this stupid fucking story and not seeing all the red flags. It was on this day that I became a woman, a strong, independent, needing no man to tell me where to go or who to talk to. For I had my daughter, and she had me. T'was all we needed. Father walked out long, long ago, leaving us alone. The many hats I wore in order to make sure that she was provided with food and comfort sustained the two of us, along with the love we held for one another. Scorned by the man I once gave my bosom to, and I took his seed, of which he abandoned. But yea, the Air Force have taken me in and my own individual drive have brought me here. I am a saint of a lady. Jesus Christ, Mother Teresa couldn't paint a fucking better picture of herself. And you didn't think to look and call up the chaplains and be like, wow, she's super motivating. Tell me more about her. We need to bring her. Oh, she's a fucking liar. Oh, no, shit. Well, maybe I won't put this up for every airman in the entire fucking branch to see, which now drags dude's name out through the mud. And that's my main bitch. You just took your position way up here, okay? and disseminated false information about one of your subordinates, and I can tell you, me, he ain't having a good time. Fuck, he's probably watching this right now going, fuck, I thought this was over. One of the strangest things I found out of this is that she made a fucking Facebook post stating like, oh no, listen, that was my story, and he read it, and he thought it was cool, and, um, and you know, we're, we're actually really good as a team, as a duo, we're really good as a team. How are you really fucking good as a team? You just shit all over this guy's parenting. You, you are obviously not a good fucking team because he ain't a fucking team member or he made that shit up and I'm covering your ass. I'm gonna go with number two. But I'm not the guy to give relationship advice. That's for this asshole. Good afternoon, children. I'm Dirtbag Private. I'm gonna teach you how not to get shammed today. And I don't know how he did it, but he made me fucking sweaty just watching him. But I digress. If you are going through some weird fucking shit with your old lady or old man, okay, you better sit and talk to a chaplain. And I don't need to hear no I ain't religious nonsense bullshit. Those guys are fucking smart. And some of them got psycho degrees so they can pick apart your fucking crazy lady or male lover's brain before it goes insane and ends up shooting you in the bathroom on the toilet and then takes off down to fucking Mexico. Now, what this young airman did was very smart. You go to the chaplain. You say, hey, I'm having some issues with my old lady. He talks to you about it, and now guess what? You have a paper trail. He who files the first paperwork usually wins. So if you feel as though something is shady in your lover's language, then you should probably go see a chaplain and talk to them about your issues. One, he may just fix them, and you can continue on with your lady loving life and getting your downstairs area licked like a dog on peanut butter. Or two, it just ends. And at least it's amicable so that you ain't having some fucking cancer attached to your heart for the next umpteen years, sucking 15 or 20% of your salary away. And three, if it does blow up in your fucking face, at least your team sergeant, your company commander, and that chaplain can sit down and talk to the chief master sergeant of the Air Force and tell her how fucking wrong she is for throwing you under the bus. And if that don't get you a couple extra days off or some fucking immunity or a fucking promotion, I don't know what will. A sham? Yes. Responsible sham? I'll allow it. Not all shams are bad. And with Valentine's Day coming up, which is the biggest sham of all, you probably want to make sure that you are out of a relationship like that. The only thing more toxic than that is an untrimmed bush on Valentine's Day. Which is why I suggest for Valentine's Day, you get your luscious lover 
the Lawnmower 3.0 in the performance package by Manscaped. Ball cleansers, toners, and ointments to make sure that that Gordon down there is pruned and perfect for Lady Love and Cupid himself to shoot his love arrow into something less like a jungle and more like a beautiful green on God's golf course. Make sure you use Anger Cops 20 in order to get 20% off of your beautiful Valentine's Day performance package. Shame on, Privates. Shame on. Oh my god, yeah, I'm just gonna get married to this guy, but he's a piece of shit. I'm gonna take advantage of him. I'm gonna use all his money. And then when he's gone, I'm gonna divorce him. I'm gonna lock the doors. I'm not gonna let him see his kids. But it's all his fault. I'm a totally good person. Oh my gosh, some dicks. Uh, Chief Bass is the fish, right? Shit, I keep forgetting. Oh, 